again dealing with arithmetic progression the sum of two n terms of an ap 1 5 9 13 is greater than sum of n terms of ap 56 58 60 right what is the smallest value n, take, n can take again just plugging in the formula and then solving the inequality very simple question should know sum up to n terms of an ap plug that formula in we're through the first sequence in ap with common with the first term 1 common difference 4 second sequence ap with first term 56 and common difference 2 we see the first term grows quicker because the common difference is larger second term starts off at a higher point we need to find the smallest value n can take just going to do this algebraically plug in the formula work from there right? so the, the sum up to two n terms sum up to n terms is n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d in this case it is 2n by 2 into 2 times 1 a is 1 2n minus 1 into 4 or sum up to 2n terms of the first sequence is n times 2 plus 8n minus 4 or this is n times 8n minus 2 or 8n square minus 2n. Second sequence sum up to n terms of the second sequence is n by 2 into 2 times 56 2a plus n minus 1 into 2 and so this is n by 2 into 112 plus 2n minus 2 or this is n by 2 into 110 plus 2n we are told this is greater than this let us solve that in the next page we know that 8 n square minus 2n is greater than n by 2 into 110 plus 2n this is what is here so, or if we cross multiply we get 16 n square minus 4 n is greater than 110 n plus 2 n square take this this side we get 14 n square is greater than 114 n or 7 n is greater than 57 n is positive so we can cancel the top n is greater than 57 by 7 57 by 7 is 8 point something we are looking for an integer the smallest integer value n can take the n smallest n is 9 8 won't work 9 will work the smallest possible value is 9 very simple question you should know the formula for n terms sum up to n terms all of that some of these questions you don't have to be too cute plug it into the formula solve an inequality you're done